And here's a video review for Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime. And as you can see, he's uh, his full tractor trailer itself uh, with a trailer here. Um, and there's really not a whole lot to this mode. You've got the tractor trailer, you've got the truck. Um, th there are plenty, there's like four mech tech ports on each side up here on the top, two on each side of the trailer. Um, you can see there's this giant gun stored up underneath. Um, there's a mech tech port here and here and here on the truck, as well as on the other side. So he's got a lot of mech tech ports. I don't think he has quite as many as the uh, Japanese Voyager total, at least not in one mode. But, uh, but you know, he uses mech tech weapons. There's a side swipe gun, uh, one of, uh, what's his name? Crap, I can't think of his name. Uh, Sky hammers, missiles, uh, another side swipe gun, just to give you an idea of what he looks like all armored up there. But that's about it for truck. Now you can actually uh, attach the trailer to Revenge of the Fallen Leader Prime. Um, it's not perfect. It basically it, you're basically just setting the the tab that holds this on in his trailer hitch just enough that it stays on and you can pull him with it but if you try to turn him it pops off it, it, it's really for display only it's not gonna be anything spectacular but here we got a shot of that real quick we'll show you alrighty so anyway on to the rest of the robot mode let's go ahead and take the trailer and set it off to the side for the time being while we show off the transformation here on Prime himself. Um, just a quick look at him there by himself. A very different transformation than we're used to seeing uh, with Prime, especially since we've kind of stolen from the leader on a couple different occasions. So, you just want to pop these off and pull these whole panels up to the side just like that. Make sure that's okay. Just like that. Um, and then you fold these up and there's a little tab here that's going to plug right into the top of the truck. You just flip that in and peg that in as well. Now that gap's going to be a connection point for his armor here in a minute. Uh, then you rotate it like this and just flip that up. Just flip those up kind of up over his shoulders, or what are going to be his shoulders. The legs, as you can see, are underneath here. You unpeg the feet from underneath here, and then you fold this piece up. They're also tabbed in here. Make sure you tab those in, so untab those, and then you can flip the legs down. And then this whole piece, you kind of want to keep this straight until you get it up to here, because uh, this piece has a couple tabs on it that now lock it into place when you flip it down like that. And then up on the front here, you want to come up here, you want to pop up these pieces, uh, and then you split the arms, bring them down, split them down like this and bring them out and up. Uh, bring this piece forward a little bit. You want to bring the legs down. Oh, actually, no, no you don't. You want to lift this piece in the middle up here. This piece flips up, and then this whole chest piece. Uh, you slide this up, you slide the chest piece down, and you can see this, uh, there's some gold plastic there that it gets exposed, and that pops its head up. And then the legs, right here, tab in under here, and then this chest plate comes uh, these two posts right here on his head tab in right here, um, and it tabs that whole piece together. And that holds the whole body together just like that. And then uh, bring the arms down around like that. Uh, you open up these little panels and then slide the fist forward. Slide the fist forward. Oh, here we go. And then you just kind of position the shoulder pads, and this piece that was the middle of the windshield folds back and then folds in half forward and kind of tucks back there behind his head. And there he is in robot mode. He does have some big forearms. That's a little bit of a drawback. Um, but they don't look as bad as, as I thought in person. They're still big. They're not great. Um, he does have some kind of skinny hips, and his legs actually look okay. I wish these knee panels could were positionable. But other than that, um, he's actually pretty cool. So the big forearms, the shoulder pads really aren't that bad once you get them folded in a position you can tolerate them in. So yeah, 
there is your basic Optimus Prime. He's about ultra class. He's a little bit bigger uh, here, as you can see, than the Voyager. Uh, Optimus Prime, this is the Japanese version that came with the trailer. Um, but he's, uh, he's smaller than a liter. And there's that. Um, and then just as extra size comparisons, here he is with uh, the Deluxe Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime. And here he is with Cyberverse Optimus Prime. A little off center there. Let me set that up. But there you go. There's a pretty good size comparison with some other primes from the movie verse. So he, he's not tiny. He's not as big as a leader, but he's not nearly as tiny as the Voyager. So like I said, a good ultra class figure. Get those out of the way. And now we're going to get on to the big stuff. We're going to go ahead and set him to the side for a minute while we pull out Big Boom Boss a trailer here. Now to transform him, you want to come under here. The first thing you want to do is uh, just pop the hand off. It's, it tabs in here as well as into the arms. It's actually tabbed in pretty good right now. So there's one of the noises you'll hear. Uh, let me just so we pull the gun off by himself. And there, there's a gun missile thing. Uh, there's two buttons on it uh, up here. So when you fire one, it fires the main gun. When you push the one over here, it fires the ancillary guns there. And then when you pull this back, this lever back, it opens up and charges up. And fires. And if you do that again, you'll hear the same thing and then he'll say, I am Optimus Prime. Oh, maybe not, huh? He will say I am Optimus Prime at some point. I am Optimus Prime. There you go. Um, and those are the sound effects that I found on this so far. I mean, you can see he's also got the uh, the helmet for uh, his combined mode is on there. It's basically a Prime helmet with a clear visor with a targeting symbol on it. Um, and this is the piece that's going to attach it to the combined mode. But we'll set that off to the side for the time being. Now, on to, uh, on to the actual trailer itself. I'm going to just start unpegging wings. These wings flip up and out. And again, on this side, uh, they do unpeg from the ratchets pretty easily. They're just a little disc ratchet that uh, snaps together. So you open them up like this. And, uh, yeah, you got a nice, nice wingspan there. And then when you do that, you can see here's a lot of the interior of the uh, of the armor itself. Now this piece right here actually lifts up, comes detached, and then hinges all the way back like this. And then you pull the uh, and there's a uh, there's actually when you, when you bring this down, there's two tabs right here that are going to tab right here into these two tabs right here on the back. So when you pull this piece around. Make sure you snap it into place there. And then, uh, here, let me see, raise this up a little bit. There we go. Um, these pieces come up and out, however you want to do them, really. You can angle them down. You can fold them down if you don't like them. You can pop, they're on ball joints. You can pop them right off if, if you choose to. The wings come out and up. See, and, that, and that's what I'm talking about. There's this little ratchet joint. This is just a little ratchet notch thing here. Um, and it just there's, just plugs right into the disc. That's how all the wings work, and chances are they're going to pop off on you once or twice. That's why you get the hang of it. Oh, that's, that's why, because you have to bring this back all the way and then bring just the blue piece forward. Otherwise, the gray piece, hinge that's attached to gets in the way of the wings. So Now they're up. And you can kind of see where the rest of this is going. Uh, you open up this panel and uh, come around the back. You split this. And this all lashes to get together very tightly. And again, there's another one of those disc joints I was telling you about. Um, it may actually help to do this before you uh, plug this in. So these things are just really, that's one of the drawbacks. These, these things do not stay on very well. As you as you just saw, 
And of course, it goes behind that, so I pop that off again. There we go. And so you bring the, and these panels come out. Um, these panels unhook and can spring out as well. And then the legs split. Um, just like that. Uh, you actually want to take these, uh, these panels right here and flip them up uh, to form his toes. Then you just swing the arms out to the side. Open up the leg, front leg panels. Uh, open these up wide like, like that and flip this whole panel down. And that is, and there's the armor, oh, flip out his fists. And there's the armor ready for Prime. All open and ready to go. So then you take Prime, and you want to straighten his feet out. They'll automatically swing out a little bit. And then there's an attachment point right here that clips in right here. There's a clip right here that clips on right over this dark blue piece on the back. And then his feet, uh, those same peg holes that pegged into truck mode, peg into the foot armor right here. So you just bring them down like this, and then just snap them back into here, and he should lock into place, bring his leg over, peg his foot on, and again peg his foot on, and then you can go ahead and close up the leg armor, just right up onto his leg, just like that. And then the arm pieces, you want to bring the shoulder pieces up. Uh, this, this abdomen piece, you just kind of, there's two little pole pegs right here that are going to peg right into his abdomen. Just lift this up and snap it into place, and then the abdomen pieces should snap in as well. Those, you know, sides here. The arms you lift up, and you bring forward. And basically, they just fit right over his arms. There's a little cutaway for the wheel well, and then his fist actually grabs this post inside the bigger fist. So you actually... Fit his arm inside there. You can actually open this up if you want to to snap it on a little better. You get this attached up over his shoulder. There we go. I get that on and fold this in so his fist actually grabs that post. Oh, well, hopefully this fist is all the way out. Oh, come on. There we go. And it just kind of covers up his arm there. And then the shoulder pad just sits right on top of it. Okay. And do the same with this arm. Basically, you're just putting it over his arm. Whatever way is easiest. And there is Ultimate Prime uh, in his armor. He doesn't have his gun yet, and we'll do that in just a second. Now the gun, like I said, has this piece, and you flip this piece out, and then you clip, this little this little golden piece is gonna clip right over the trailer hitch. It's gonna, there's a peg right here, and basically you take that little peg hole, and you clip this, you get it lined up, and that can be tricky. snap that on. And basically the gun can store, it hangs on his back, there's a couple little pegs here that can clip in here when he's not using it. I uh, just clip that on right there. Um, and there he is in armored mode. And if you want the uh, the gun itself, you flip, you unhip, clip it, you flip over his face, and you can see the helmet comes down and covers his face right there. You bring the arms forward and there's a couple of pegs for him to hold it. And then he's got his giant space gun that he holds. You know what? I meant to grab uh, Power Master Optimus Prime 2, and I should have brought him just to show two Primes combined with their trailers. But you've got the same access to the same sounds in, uh, that I showed you earlier on the gun. Um, you can still access all the mech tech ports. Uh, if you want to put some guns up here, you won't see them back here, but there's a couple mech tech ports uh, here on top of the wings. These little square pieces have mech tech ports. Um, there's one here on, there's on each side of the gun. There's one here, one right up here, 
Um, you still access uh, certain weapons can still plug into the uh, one on his wheel well. His fists are capable of holding mech tech weapons if you don't have him using the big gun. There aren't any on his feet or legs that I've found yet. Um, and again, there's still weapon ports on the back of the of the wings. So yeah, there he is. Um, and then just another quick size comparison here. Here he is with uh, Revenge of the Fallen Leader Prime. Just to get an idea of just how much bigger he is. So yeah, um, some pluses. He's big. Um, he really is uh, pretty awesomely big. Uh, you, can, you can pose the wings however you want. If you want to bring these down, you can have them down like that. Um, so you've, you've got some you've got some choice. You don't have to have them with the wings fully deployed like this. Uh, these, if you want, you can fold down and out of the way if you don't like them, uh, or just pop them off. Uh, you got a lot of options in displaying him. The play wise, um, now I had fun. I had actually ended up due to an ordering snafu. I hit my back button on my browser. Ended up getting two of these guys, um, and <laughs> Niblet took the other one. And you saw her little review earlier. Uh, we ran around the house, flying around and chasing these, and that was great fun. Um, for the price, if you can get him at the Walmart price, which is like sixty-four bucks, do it. I mean, like at that point, I think he's worth it. I don't know if I'd pay. The, the 90 bucks or whatever Amazon's charging for it. Um, th that's right about where his value lies, if you're curious. He's, he's, he's good. Um, 65 bucks, by all means. Um, 90 bucks. He's, he's still decent for 90 bucks, but he's not, you're not getting a whole lot of play value for your money. He's, um, but he looks, he looks awesome. He's, he's a really neat design. Um, unfortunately, he's designed so you can't have his helmet forward with the gun or without the gun. Um, I have modded it to do that. I'm not going to get into that. It's really, it's basically just unscrewing a couple of screws here and you can pop the gun off. But, uh, but yeah, it's a pretty impressive figure, uh, size wise. Um, posability in, in combined mode, as you might expect, is not great. Um, but the trade off is he's giant. So there's that. He does have ankle pivots as well. I forgot to show this off. So he can spread his legs a little bit and have his feet flat on the ground. Um, but really, overall, a, a decent figure, for, like I said, for about 65 bucks. Um, and and the, more, the more over that you pay, I think, I, I, I think manufacturer retail price, is, I think, was 79 And, and about that, that's, that's, prob that, that's probably the tipping point on, on, on where, where the money really equates to how much fun you're going to have with it. He looks great for display. Um, unpo like, not really posable. The, uh, the the main prime without the armor, not perfect because he's got those big wheel wells on his arms. And really, that's the only issue I have with mine. And um, and it's a minor one. Um, but, it, but, it's, but it's there. I mean, I, I totally understand people who don't like it. Um, I will say that, like, when you've got him in hand, th they don't look quite as obnoxious as they've looked in promo pics where it looks like he's just got these giant freaking Popeye forearms. Um, but they are big. Um, other than that, like, it's not really any worse than any of the other primes we've gotten in Dark of the Moon. So, so there's that. Um, but if, if you're interested in getting him, I'd, he's worth picking up. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go nuts trying to get him. I wouldn't hunt one down. I wouldn't pay double price to, uh, to get him uh, right now when you might be able to get him a lot cheaper in a week or so. But, uh, or a couple weeks, whenever. I, I think July 1st is his actual street date. So you should be, see, hopefully, you'll be seeing him on shelves here soon. But uh, there he is, uh, Dark of the Moon Ultimate Optimus Prime.